Hello, my name's Colin from hdcctv.co.uk. In this tech tip video, I'm going to show you how to add the Xvision Wi-Fi camera, the XC1080CW, to your network and how to set it up on the Wi-Fi. To do this, you'll need a Windows computer, uh, a camera power supply or a PoE switch, and an Ethernet network cable. So first of all, power the camera up with the power supply or the PoE switch. Connect the cable between the camera and your broadband router and also download the device search tool from the link below. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find out what the IP address settings of your network are. You can do this by going to a Windows computer. In the search box, type command and then you'll see there's an option of command prompt. Click on that and that will open a command window. At the prompt, type IP config and then you'll get the information about your network appear. The important part you need is default gateway. This will tell you what your IP address settings for your network are. It may be 192.168.0. something, it might be 192.168.1. something, or 10.0.0. something, or something like that. If your address is 192.168.1. something, that's good because that matches the default setting from the camera. If not, carry on with this part of the, part of the, uh, the video. Okay, so now we need to find a, uh, an empty IP address on your network. You can just pick any number, um, suggest you start about 40 upwards and that will give you um, probably an empty, empty slot. So you go in the command prompt, you type ping, P-I-N-G, and then type in the IP address. So I'm going to type in 10.0.0.111 and hit enter and then when you get um, host unreachable come up then you know that that IP address is available and you can use that for the camera so I'm going to use 10.0.0.111 for this camera okay now you can close down the command prompt uh, window and then open up the Xvision Pro IP device search tool make sure the IPC box is ticked and then hit search and the tool should then find your camera with the IP address 192.168 1.188. To change the IP address, make sure there's a tick in the box next to the, uh, the, the camera and then in the center box type in the new IP address and then click modify IP. Once that's done, click search again and you should see that the camera IP address has changed to the one you've selected. Now we're going to log into the camera and change its Wi-Fi settings. So open up an Internet Explorer window and in the URL bar type the new IP address and hit enter. That will then show you the login screen for the camera. When you click the submit button you'll have a download appear at the bottom of the screen. Click on run and that will start the download. Once it's downloaded you can install that component so allow that to work. And before you start installing that, close your Internet Explorer down, otherwise it won't install properly. So uh, click Next, click, keep clicking Next and Yes and allow that to install. Once that's done, you can reopen Internet Explorer and go back to the IP address of the camera. And then click Submit again and you should then get through to the camera and see an image from the camera itself. Okay, final final process is to change the Wi-Fi settings to suit your network. So go to the Setup tab at the top of the screen and then Wi-Fi Config on the left. You should then see a list of the available Wi-Fi networks. Uh, here you can add the password to suit your network and then click Save. Or if you're not seeing anything, in the SSID box on the right hand side, start typing your um, SSID of your Wi-Fi network and the list will appear adjust the password and then select your network and click connect and that is then connected the camera to the Wi-Fi network. Once that's done you can then disconnect the network cable from the back of the camera it will drop off refresh the browser and then you'll see the camera connected via Wi-Fi and you can move it to the location it's going to be installed. That completes this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you're still having problems, please give us a call on 01952 505 696. Thanks for watching.